We have uh, Mr. Butler. He's going to um, show us some stuff that the firemen do. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Butler. All right. Hi, guys. We're back again. Uh, today, we're going to go over our gear that we wear. Um, this is the gear that we put on, uh, coat, pants, boot, uh, face piece, and a helmet, um, gloves. We take this, we put it on, and this is what allows us to go into fight fires. Uh, obviously, fires are very hot. They're very dangerous. It's just a little bit of protection that we can put on. Um, it's going to keep us safe while we're trying to keep you safe. So we have Firefighter Gizmondi. He's going to put his gear on, and then I'll kind of explain to you as he puts it on what each piece of equipment is and how it keeps us safe. All right. So the first thing he's going to put on is his boots and his pants. So you can see that we keep our boots and our pants together. That helps us put them on quicker so we can get out the door. The boots, they come all the way up. They're nice and hard. They're steel toe boots. That way we don't step on anything, puncture anything. The pants actually have three liners, uh, and that keeps the, the heat and the fire and the water off of our, off of our skin. Um, this is what he's putting on right now is a hood, just like the hoods that you wear when you go outside in the wintertime to keep you warm. This hood works the opposite way to keep the heat from getting to our neck and our ears and our hair. So he's got a big, a big coat, just like your winter coat, a little bit heavier, um, and that covers his upper body and his torso. All right, next he's gonna put on his air tank. So this air tank, we take the, all, the room, all the air that's in one room and we compress it down and we put it in that, that bottle. When you go into a fire, there's a lot of smoke, there's a lot of dangerous gas. So that bottle right there will allow him to breathe fresh air for 45 minutes in, in a fire. Some guys use more air, some guys use less air, but it's a 4,500 uh, PSI bottle. It should last you about 45 minutes. This is his mask that's gonna go onto his face. It's gonna allow him to see, but it's also gonna create a seal around his face, which doesn't allow any of those gases or the, or the uh, smoke to get in there uh, so he doesn't breathe it in. He pulls that hood up over his head and over his ears to keep all that stuff warm. Uh, sorry, to keep all that stuff uh, safe so it doesn't get too hot. The helmet goes on top. That way, if anything falls on you, uh, it doesn't. Nothing hits us in the head. It, it, it tries to protect our head. It's also you can see the different thing about firefighters and everybody else. Turn real quick for them, mm -hmm. is we have this bill that comes off the back of our helmet, and that's so that if stuff falls down, it doesn't go into his coat and burn his neck. So that's why that bill goes in the back of our helmets and not to the front like a baseball hat. Lastly, he's got his gloves to keep his hands uh, safe. That's going to keep his hands there, allow him to continue to work and not uh, get his hands burned or cut on anything. Because a lot of times in fires, there's a lot of sharp objects as well. So he's going to, are you on air? Yeah. All right. So you can hear how he talks. So we have this uh, system in there that allows us to talk. It amplifies our voice. When we breathe, it's loud. When we talk, it's loud. Gavin, you want to say something to him? Hi, guys. This is what you'll hear when we go to the house. So that's what he's going to sound like. So you can imagine it being dark. Uh, there's a lot of smoke. If you might be scared if you're in a side of fire, this is what a firefighter is going to look like. This is how he's going to sound. It might seem scary, but he's still gab and he's still inside the gear. Uh, it's the same person. He's just put all that stuff on. So this is firefighter Gizmondi, totally dressed out. Hi, guys. Hey, what, uh, what, what were all those beeps and bings and bells that I just heard a few minutes ago? So – this is this is a uh, it's called a pass system. It's part of our air pack. Um, it'll tell you how much air is in the bottle, so we know right now that this bottle's pretty full. And then also, it's a safety feature for us. So you'll hear it; uh, it'll alarm, and that allows everybody else to know that he's not moving. So if he gets hurt, if he goes down where he can't move, this this alarm will sound. Here it goes right here. It'll go to a full alarm like this. Uh, this one. So it flashes lights and makes a noise so that if he's falling yep. down, we can find him? Yep, so that w w us, you know, our crew is going in to try and locate him. That aids us in locating a firefighter that's gone down. And it also lets us know if he's not doing any work, if he's standing still in the corner trying to hide. 
we know he's just standing there not working. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.